All right, so what I'm gonna do first, really should be doing this at the end of every video, but just make sure you save the next version. So I'm just gonna save this as version two. And then if you need to go back to the original thing and be like, oh, the proportions are off, you can fix them or, you know, later on when we start doing the next part, if you don't like it, you can go back to this. Okay, now just make sure you spend, I didn't probably spend as much time as I should uh, proportionating my dude, but uh, it's a start. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to start putting, let's say like clothes or something on him. Okay, so what that means is basically this. Uh, not any reference is basically worthless, but um, <clears throat> so let's say your character has clothes or something like that. Let's say they're wearing a shirt. I'm just going to show you how I would go about doing that. I'm going to undo it and then I'm going to do my guy's thing, but in case your character is wearing some sort of outfit that I'm just going to show you. Okay, so uh, we're pretty much done being in here now. So now we're just going to worry about sculpting and we're going to switch to doing um, the tessellated stuff. So we're going to go with sculpt and I'm start doing, I mean, I'm not going to call it surface detail, but you know, surface stuff. Okay, so go ahead and turn tessellation on and we can start uh, working on that. So, oh, cancel. So let's just go ahead. Well, you can click on, if you hit tessellation, it's going to ask you to tessellate. Just hit OK. And then it'll tessellate. We could also just go to mesh and choose generate tessellation mesh, and then that will also convert it. So either either way uh, will work. Okay. And I'm just going to look. Okay. So that's fine enough for the geometry. So let's say my dude was wearing, I don't know, like some sort of shirt here. Okay. So all I would do for that is choose sculpt, and then we'll go to stencil. And, or not stencil, sorry, fall off. And then let's say we do, uh, we'll, we'll say this one. Is that going to give me what I want? Let me just see real quick. And let's turn W off. And we'll just do the regular one here. Okay. So let's say it was more shirt. All I literally would do, depending on the type of shirt, is just, you know, around the out, make sure I got, I got mirroring on, right? Mirroring on X, yep. I would just go around the side, like so. Let's say this is a shirt sleeve, go all the way around. And then on the one side, just hold shift and smooth out. So you see a line, okay? And then on this side, you can, just to kind of help it, I'm gonna choose this cut one, and I might even make this a little bit smaller. Oops, okay, right. holding B, there it goes. And then I'll just hold control, and then like cut a line. You know what I mean? To really make sure you can tell that there's a shirt line there. I'm going to undo that because I don't actually want to do it. Um, and then you, you know, do that on both sides there, do it on the collar up here, and then I would do it there. And then that would make it look like they're wearing like a t-shirt, right? And then you can kind of go further off of it. But now if let's say you got something they're wearing like, I don't know, a bandana or something, right? It's just, you know, just go a little bit more robust with it. Man, I'm hitting B. Come on. There it goes. And then M, you know, just add more stuff you know what I mean like like so I mean I'm not doing anything but you know just be a little bit more robust with it and just sculpt that on top of it okay now there are limits to this um so for instance uh you know like if your character is supposed to have like swords on his back or something then obviously you're going to want to probably model that separately you can't really put that in the model uh, you know, but if they have stuff like where they have like, let's say spikes or something, you can totally like sculpt a spike coming out. Uh, and if they have things like armor, like let's say they have like a shoulder pad thing or something, again, you could probably sculpt that on there as well. Uh, it kind of depends on the character, but if it's something where they're supposed to have a gun or something, you'd want to model that separately. And if there's something that you need to have that in there, just let me know and I'll do my best to try and, and help you with that. Um, and, uh, when I'm going to, there's two ways to go about modeling characters hair. For instance, um, one is to uh, there's three ways. So one is to make one big shape. Uh, another way is to um, actually use like uh, uh, physical hair. So there's this program doesn't have it, but like your program would actually have particle hair, so it would be like actual hair strands coming out. Uh, and then the last way is what they use for video games, where it's like planes that they layer on top of each other with transparency, and it looks like hair. They they have they do it with great effect. We're going to do the shape thing just because um, we're mostly working in this program and I don't want to deal with having to try and put like real hair on there because that's only really good for like rendered video. And then the, the plain hair is like a whole nother thing and we'd have to do that again, not in here in another program. So 
Uh, we're just going to do the shape type hair. So, like, you know, if he's supposed to have, like, uh, I would just turn symmetry off. So turn that off for a second. And then, you know, just add, if he's supposed to have some sort of hair shape, you know, add the hair kind of like whatever his hair is supposed to be. Okay. Imagine I did a good job. I know it's hard to, but uh, that's what you'd want to do. Okay. But I would do all the symmetrical items first. Do everything that's going to be symmetrical. And then if there's something that's asymmetrical, do that at the very end. But get everything else done first. So instead, I'm going to do, um, you know, what's on my character and the, you know, the signals of that. So um, let me just show you. So if I go to my camera, you can see he's got uh, these shoulder pads. He's got, like, these um, leg things. He's got kind of underwear like a typical superhero. So I'll just, um, I'm just going to work my way up. I'll start with the legs and then work my way up from there. So uh, let's go back to perspective. But just to get you an idea of what that's going to look like, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so um, let's go to a front view here, and then um, and I'm just going to draw roughly the, the V of his thing here first. Okay. And it's also a V in the back. So just trying to get the, the basis of what it's going to be here. I'm not expecting it to look quite amazing yet. This is just the start. I'm just going to smooth it out on one side. Okay. Now, what I need is for this to kind of come off, right? Um, so that'd be kind of hard. So what I'm actually going to do is this. I'm going to use my freeze. All right. And I like to use the freeze with, oops, I'm going to fall off with a really hard one here. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint freeze like so to keep, let's hold B, to keep um, the inside good. Okay. Like so. All right. All right. Yeah. So I'm just going to go around and just just trying to freeze a line that I can use in order to make it work. And I'm just going to make sure I get enough of it so that I don't, um, you know, have any problems here. All right, so let's just see. I'm just trying to freeze. Okay, so that looks somewhat acceptable. Let's freeze a little bit more here. All right, so. And we'll call that okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit more of this just so I have a little bit more to grab a hold of. I'm just going to hold shift to smooth it out and then I can just draw on this side of it as well. Like that. Shift to smooth it out. Okay. And then I'm going to see if I can get it with grab here. So let's see. I think grab is, oh, there it is. Okay. I got it really big. Okay. And we'll go like that. And I'm just going to kind of make sure I got part here and sort of pull that up. That looks okay. And then we'll kind of pull this up. And I don't like that one quite as much. Let's try that again. Go like that. And then I'm just going to push this in a little bit. All right. So now you can see we kind of have sort of the boot thing going on there. So I'm just going to clear out my, um, my uh, thing here by hitting Shift U. Uh, just so you remember, if you hover over them, it'll actually tell you what the hotkeys are. Although it doesn't tell you shift I is invert, but shift I is invert in case you forgot. Uh, so that looks um, okay. Uh, obviously, it needs a little bit more work. So I'm going to go to my grab here, and I'm just going to smooth that out. Smooth, smooth. Um, kind of smooth that. All right. So here's the thing. It doesn't need to look perfect right now. Really, what I'm looking for is just to get the elements there. So obviously, his boot sticking out is one of the things that needs to be there. So the next thing I need is, if I'm going up, is probably his belt, okay? So I'm actually gonna use the um, front view just because it'll be a little bit easier to position it. So I'm just gonna still be on the draw and let's go to fall off and we're on the regular, that's fine. Um, actually, I wonder if it'd be easier. Let's try doing this, let's go, oops, okay. I was holding B, go a little bit smaller and I'm gonna see if I can just draw this belt across. So, it's kind of old school belt, but I kind of like it because it's old school. So, I don't know. Um, now, let's go perspective. And I'm just going to use that as the guide to draw around the rest of it. 
So I'm just going to kind of like that, I guess, we'll say. A little bit too small. So let's just smooth that out a little. All right, I'm just going to smooth it out, which I'll lose a bit of it, but that's okay. I just want to kind of get it roughly in position here. So let's just make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my fall off again. I'm going to use this little cut one. And let's make this even smaller. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw the line of where the belt would be. I'm just going to hold shift and smooth it out there. I just need to have, um, in a way, honestly, what I really need is just a marker so that I know when I'm retopologizing this later that this is indeed where the belt is. So he's got a high belt. He would definitely get picked on in school for wearing his belt like this. This is like a um, an Urkel belt or something, right? You guys remember Urkel? That's probably before your time. Actually, I never watched that show either, to be rather honest with you. But you probably do know what it is. Okay. Um, so uh, let's, let's go back to normal. And then this is just bothering the crap out of me how rough that is. Okay. So we'll call that a belt. And then he also has an underwear line. Um, and I'm just going to, again, going to use this cut one here, and I'm just going to, I'm still on draw, good. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, and we're just going to cut some underwear here. All right, so, it's, <clears throat> you know what I like about superheroes is that they are confirmed to wear tidy whities because it ain't like they're wearing boxers underneath this, right? Or otherwise, you see the boxer line right here. So, we all know, actually, they're probably not even wearing tidy whities They're probably wearing, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, whatever the, like a thong style one. Right? Because you don't want those those creases, right? Everyone will look at you weird. So I'm just going to try and draw that. And then maybe on the other end of it, I'm just going to draw, like, add a little bit of, of weight to it. Then smooth right here. And then smooth. 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 Oh yeah, he's he's looking good. All right, so let me do kind of the same thing to the belt here. Smooth that out, just to give it a better, stronger line. Okay. Okay. So we'll say that that's he's got his belt and he's got his underwear. Um, the next thing is, if you look at the classic version, he's actually got these. Um, uh, you can't tell there. Here you go. He's got like these weird, I don't even know what that is, like this weird fin thing coming up the side, which his outfit is totally impractical. Uh, as much as he's like my favorite comic book character, it's super, I can see why they never were able to make it work as far as um, the movies. Uh, so we're going to go and I'm just going to draw, I guess, a line around here and we'll have it kind of cut in maybe like that. We're going to kind of do something similar to what we did um, for the uh, um, for the other side. I feel like that might be too low. I'm just going to undo all that. Control-Z. Control-Z. Okay, good. So I'm just going to go a little bit. I think he's got to go, let's say, right about there. We'll call that good. Okay. This might be a little bit in. I'm going to grab this and just push this a little bit inwards. As much as that is, would be out a little bit. I don't like how much it's out. Okay. Go back to draw. Okay. And I'm just going to try and get this be good and I'm just literally going to do the same thing I did last time where oops this needs to be this isn't going all the way around let's make sure it goes there we go push that back on there it's got a lump it's got a lovely lady lump okay uh so we're going to do the same thing where I'm just going to freeze again so I'm just going to paint this freeze right on the edge of his arm so it's good to go with a smaller line first like so I'm just going to hold control because I went a little bit too far. So remember, control when you brush with it with undo. Um, <clears throat> really don't need this, but I'm just going to do it on here anyways. Then you can expand it and get more uh, stuff of it here. So Over there. Okay. All right. That looks 
looks acceptable. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to use this grab here. Um, and then actually, you know what? I'm going to draw the line on the other side too. So let me look and see what that looks like real quick. Okay, it doesn't it just kind of cuts in a little. So let's go back to perspective. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the sculpt and pencil. Oops, sorry. And I'm, like, I'm just going to cut for this side. And let's go a little bit this way, make it a little bit smaller. And let me show you a neat little trick that might be helpful to you if you're trying to draw like a nice line. There's a thing down here that is, let's see, come on, steady stroke. And the larger you do it, what it does is it drags, that's really far, uh, it drags it behind it like like it's a pickup truck and you end up with nicer smoother curves so that was all way too much though let's see okay so we'll try that just for fun's sake so i'm just going to kind of cut i'm holding control and i'm just going to cut a line for his outfit here which i don't particularly like but we're going to go with it and then we're just going to cut this down like so okay good um, and then what I'm gonna do is freeze this part too just that way I don't accidentally um, mess with the uh, the rest of the, the shirt here oops ah crap I mean to do that object list I'm just gonna go to object list control click on it and be back in business okay so freeze this back up I accidentally right clicked while I was going at it here and then pretty soon we'll paint a happy tree. Feels a little bit like Bob Ross right now. Um, so really at this point you probably know what you need to do. I'm going to stop this video here. And then I might make one more video. But well, we're just going to end it here on this one. Um, and I'm just going to finish up kind of the rest of this sort of thing. Um, you know I might add like the details of this. But I'm, it's going to be all the same thing that we've already been doing.